the evidence of Christmas and New Year are still around me here in the cathedral. But it's a bit of a melancholic sort of time, isn't it? What does the new year bring? And what does it bring here? For us at Leicester Cathedral, it's a very significant moment. The builders who are working outside are now going to come inside and we're going to close this building for the next 18 months. They're going to come and dig up the floor and put in new heating and new wiring and redecorate the place and there'll be a beautiful new stone floor. I can guarantee there will be dust absolutely everywhere. So we're going to say goodbye to this place, this place that is so beloved by so many, this place where we pray in every day, this place where we mark those great moments of transition in our own lives or in that of our community. And we're going to lock the doors. But a cathedral is not just a building, it's a community and we have a mission. So although people will not be able to come in here uh, regularly for this next period of time, but worship continues on Sunday mornings in the Grand Hall of St. Martin's House. During the week at St. Nicholas' beautiful church just across the way here from the cathedral. And then on Sunday afternoons through the Together with Leicester Cathedral project, we'll be out and about across the city and the county in all kinds of places, making new friends and learning together what it is to be the Church of England in this Diocese of Leicester. So it's with a degree of sadness that we say goodbye to this beautiful place, but it's also with a sincere hope looking forward to all that lies ahead. Goodbyes and farewells are often laden with emotion and they're rarely easy. And so it comes to the moment when we close the cathedral door for the next 18 months. But as we do that, I'm reminded of the scripture in the Psalms, when the promise is made that the Lord will watch over our coming and our going, both now and forevermore. So in hope and trust, we leave this building looking forward to a new day.